Okay, so I'm going to walk you through setting up your research paper on a Google Doc first. So I'm going to pretend my name is John Smith. So I have John Smith and I have impact of the Aztec. I'm going to put John over here, Smith. I'm going to put Ms. because that is the correct way that you spell my name, Buffalino. I'm going to put AP World History. And I'm going to just put date, but you will put the actual date. Okay, so you are going to click on align spacing and you're going to make that single. So line spacing, single. Okay, next, I want to put my heading. Okay, so I'm going to say impact of the Aztecs. Okay, now I'm ready to start my paper. I pre typed some information just so we had some writing to work with. So now I just made it double spaced. Mine actually defaulted, but yours might not. Okay, so now I'm going to continue my next paragraph. And oh, wait a minute. I took some information from a source that's not from my own brain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a citation. I'm going to go to tools and I'm going to go to citations. I'm going to make sure that I have it on MLA. Okay, I'm going to add a, a citation source. Okay, so I'm gonna say I accessed a book and I accessed it in print. Okay, so I'm going to say that I took Jared Diamond. I'm going to say I took guns, guns and steel. My publisher is going to be Frogs Universal. I'm going to make up a year. I'm going to say Carl Place. There's no edition, so I leave it blank. There's no volume, so I leave it blank. And I'm going to add my source. Okay, so it put it in here as diamond and a number because I would have to insert the page number of where I got my information from. So let's say I got it on page 19. All right, I do not love the way that Google does this. So if I wanted to, I would add another source, I could do a website, I could say access by a website and so on and so forth. Okay, what it should do is when you're done with your paper, you would go to insert a page break and you would go to insert bibliography. However, I don't want a bibliography, I want a works cited page. And this is not necessarily going to give me the correct format even if I type works cited page. So I posted on my website what a sample works cited page looks like. So when you click on my click on it in my website, it's not going to show you a hundred percent what I want. It's going to show you pretty much like this is um, double space and I want it single. Um, I do not want a page number on the first page. I want it on the second page. Um, and it shows you how you create parenthetical documentation, and then it shows you a sample works cited page in which you alphabetize, and you have a left alignment and you tab, and that this is correct for MLA. Now, if you use Google's built-in, I'm not going to crucify you, if it's somewhat incorrect, but I do have other resources that I gave you if it doesn't work for you. Easy Bib is not free anymore, but you could create your own citations using Easy Bib, or you could create your own citations using Night Sight. I personally like Night Sight um, because it's going to get you whatever resource that you need. So let's say I just want a basic book. Again, I would type it in as Jared, I would type it in as Diamond, Buns, Germs, and Steel. 
Again, I'm making sure I'm an MLA. It's published by Frogs Universal. It's published in 2020. And then I hit submit. And then it gives it to me in the correct format. See how it does. The same format, but it's in a different order. <laughs> and it doesn't have all of the same information as above. Okay, so I will take either one of these. Um, both of these are giving you variations of MLA, but if you want to manually do it yourself on Night Sight, you can, or you can use the citation generator on Google Docs. Or another way to do it is to type your paper on Microsoft Word. Okay, so I'm going to copy my information into Microsoft Word. Okay, so this is under the assumption that you have access to Microsoft Word. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to go to References, and I'm going to go to MLA, and I'm going to go to insert a citation and I'm gonna add a new source. Okay, so I'm gonna say book. So I'm gonna say Jared Diamond. I am going to say guns, germs, and steel. I am going to say 2020. I'm going to say Carl Place, and I'm going to say Frogs Universal. Okay, so it inserted it right there because that's where I was clicked. But I'm going to say, because I don't really need the page number, I'm fine with you doing it this way. I'm going to say, insert it here. Done. Okay, because let's say I didn't take it from a page. Let's say I just took the major idea from Jared Diamond or I took it from several pages throughout the book. That's fine. Okay. So that's one of the things I like that's really cool. And then you could keep using it. So if I added a new source, Let's say um, I'm going to use um, George Washington, and I'm going to say farewell address. Okay, so now if I want to use Washington and his farewell address, it's there. Okay, and then when I'm done, upon the conclusion of my paper, I would go to references and then I'm gonna do bibliography and look, it gives me different types. I could do works cited and boom, it's done. I just enter down and it's done. It even alphabetizes it for you. So I actually think Microsoft Word is easier to work with for this um, because it does basically all the work for you. And I just clicked bibliography and I clicked works cited. Okay, so how do I insert a page number? If I'm doing it on Microsoft Word, I would go to insert and I would go to page number and I would go to top of page and I'm going to show a different first page. So I'm not going to have one on my first page, but I want to show you what it looks like. Okay, so there, put it on my second page, easy peasy. Okay, so I want to edit it so it's my last name. All I did was click on the heading and it's there. It has my last name. If I'm pretending still to be John Smith, I would type Smith. And boom, it's done. Easy peasy. If I want to do it in Google Docs, I go to insert, I go to page number, and I would go to different first page, just like what I did on Microsoft Word. And now I'm gonna put my last name, Smith, and that's how I get my page numbers. So you can use any of these sources, EasyBib, NightSight, MyBib. Grammarly is a Chrome extension that you can add into your Chrome browser. And this pretty much does the work for you. Um, I definitely think that using either Google's built-in feature or using Microsoft Word's built-in feature are the way to go.
another heads up is when you're using a source like Worldbook, it's actually going to do it for you. Um, you always click on student. So if I was searching for the Aztecs, I would type in Aztecs, right? Not impact of the Aztecs. And what's really cool is that this is going to give me a citation at the end of the document. So I click on how to cite and boom, it gives me everything that I need. Easy peasy, I could just copy paste this right into my document. So I can just easy peasy copy paste this into my document and I hit shift enter, I hit a tab and that's how I get it to look the way it's supposed to when it's on two lines. And that is a really great tool for you that it automatically does the citation for you on sources like Worldbook. So we always make sure that we're not searching like we're searching on Google on Worldbook. We have to type in a specific topic. And hopefully this tutorial will help you get a jumpstart on your research paper.